welcome to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to see you again. Thank you for coming back. Today we're looking at Loot Anime Association with Crunchyroll. Let's take a look to see what's inside! Okay. Now, what is the theme for today? Let's grab the t-shirt and take it out to the wall! How's it going folks? It's nice to see you again. Are you well? Are you happy? I'm really glad to see you. It's, it, you come back week in, week out. You see the boxes. You see me. I feel the love, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, that's so special. So needed. And I, if you're going to watch unboxings, thanks for watching mine. Because sometimes it's it's a nice consideration. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel right about what I'm going through. And I'm trying to get all these things recorded and edited for you. So make sure you come back on a regular basis. I am looking at that and I am confused. Okay. For once, I am actually completely kerfuffled. Check this out. This is actually a really nice shirt. I actually like the design on it. Um, bit um, the St. George's Dragon kind of Union Jackish kind of thing going on. I'm assuming it's some form of Britannia in some form. <laughs> it's like some variant in the world of Britannia that's been shown here. Um, just a medieval kind of flag, red dragon. The material is a really nice, uh, it's pretty thick, it's a, we're assuming this is actually, we're getting into the autumn t-shirts now, are we? Are we getting into our autumn wear? Are we getting into our autumnal heavier gauge? Because it's actually a thicker t-shirt. Uh, the print design is obviously intentionally, um, no, well, not faded. It's actually printed this particular way with uh, the cracks in it, and the, it got a really nice metallic sheen to it. It literally does have a bit of a glitter to the, uh, the gold that's in the, um, the design, but I have absolutely no idea what show this is from um i'm pretty sure i'll find out in the leaflet at the end or the booklet but that's kind of surprising i mean there's nothing marking it or telling me in any way shape or form it's a typical gildan t-shirt um with just a print on it so as much as i like that uh, i can't tell you anything about the show if i obviously find out by the process of Going through the crate now, there'll be a video up here in the corner telling you what it is and showing you what it is, but uh, Alright, let's go back into the crate here. What else we got? Um ba -ba -ba, Anti Magic Academy 35th Test Platoon? Okay. So I I thought this was like a scarf, but now it looks like a towel. Now it looks like something else. Alright, let's see, let's get this open. Get to see the inside of it here. Um, polybag one. <laughs> At least this is giving me a warning about the polybag. So what is it, kind of material is this? Oh, oh no, it, it, it is wool scarfy, but oh, I don't like that feel. Let's see, what have we got here? So it is, it must be a scarf. It is a scarf. What is it from here? So a liquid exclusive. Um, sponsored by Trump, Country Rule. Anti-Magic Academy 35th Partners. So, Anti-Magic Academy is a shoe. It's not one that I watch. Um, I'm assuming it must be in the most recent uh, batch of shows. I have been terrible of keeping up to date with my crunchy rolls. I've been just watching the shows I enjoy watching. Shokugeki, um, Real Life, um, Art ReZero as well. It, I'm sorry. I, I've been missing out on some of the newer shows. I'm assuming this one's been around for a while. So Anti-Magic Academy works perfectly fine for me. Uh, let's see. Anti Magic Academy, 35th Test Platoon. Hmm. Right. Well, that is puzzling as hell. Right. We'll see. Um, I've obviously ran into two things that are completely unknown to me now. In a row. In a box. It upsets me. I do not like that. I do not like that situation happening. So, we're back into the crate. I'm perturbed by this whole situation. Okay, at least I know this one. Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Um, it was around for a long time. Arpeggio of Blue Steel, I remember the original animated series of it. Uh, have they redone it or anything? Because it's a bit odd for them to be releasing the um, manga of it now or grabbing it for any particular reason. Although, admittedly, um, Loot Crate does tend to actually just jump genres and time periods and everything anyway. So, Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Manga, happy days. I love it. I love reading it. I will be enjoying the hell out of this. This will be my bus journey read for the next trip up the road that I normally take. Um, it's, of course, volume one of it. 
And it's, well, I was going to check there, who is it? Seven Seas that actually published this one. So Seven Seas Publishing, um, I like their print quality. Uh, obviously you can get their stuff from, what is it, gomanga.com. Um, yeah, I, I like the print design, I like the box, book. It's a good series if you want. Just, you can look at it right there, it's sitting there. That's Arpeggio of Blue Steel. It's been around for a while. Um, of course, manga differing from the TV show, so what can you do about it? That's, that's, I've got a lot of things going on today. That's, um, just because I, I'm a little bit fried anyway, folks, because I'm editing and running around doing a bunch of stuff. But I'm annoyed that I missed out on two of the things already. So into the crit again, what do we got here? Alright, at least I know what the hell this is. It's Gundam. I got love Gundam. It actually relates in pretty well for this week because we have um, this week's Made in Japan is Gundam related. You'll be able to check that out um, on Saturday, as usual. Made in Japan will be out on Saturday. I highly recommend it. It's going to be a good episode because it's a very good game. It's what well, I personally have a love for Gundam because it's one of the early shows I kind of really got into. Um, it's it's something that I grew up watching and because I love mecha and I love sci-fi they just kind of went hand in hand so Gundam was cool to me this is a yeah, it looks like a Zaku no Rick Dom it's Rick Dom from uh, I mean they show up in like a lot of the series I don't think Rick Dom's actually not in any particular one I can think of um what was it Gundam Assault Kingdom I assume is the show that this version or this one is from Let's see here, is there anything, it's a fairly poseable figure, they seem to be tiny figs, but this size, but are come really, really poseable, um, with really nice bases, I love Gundam figures, I would have more of them, I mean, you can see my Gundam wing, is sitting in the background there, it's the biggest Gundam figure I have, the smaller ones I lost over the years, but I managed to hold on to that big guy, because how else are you going to lose them, plus, I couldn't even fit his wings on him, whenever I put him on the back of that shelf, because they have a pretty big expanse to them, so yeah, um, Gundam Wing, or not Gundam Wing, Gundam Assault Kingdom. Nice figure, Rick Dom. I'm not going to open that because it's too many small parts. I might actually just show him um, in another wee video at some point, but I, I just don't want to go into, because um, they're all kibble and bits. It's usually a fairly small set that's put together. In fact, I'm just going to pop my eyes on the inside of this and take a look. So I want to make sure if it is actually a... Buildable figure, because that's what I'm used to with Gundam. I'm used to them always being build buildable boys. The one that you actually kind of, um... Oh no, this one isn't. It is just as is. Oh, that's okay. I was worried, I thought, I thought it was going to be a buildable figure, which would have been fun, but... I mean, that's the cool thing about these figures, if you look at them, that they are super... Like, for look at the size of it. And they are super poseable. Super, super poseable. I love the Gundam design figures, because of this, they, 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 they look great. If you ever get a chance, you should check out um, it's OBE365, a guy who does stop motion animations of Gundam figures and really highly poseable action figures. So you have like Joker versus Gundam versus Batman versus Superman versus Turtles sometimes, which is really entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, they, this is a Rick Dom figure. It's only, like, look at the size of it. That's it in the palm of my hand. But it's actually got poseable knees, elbows, hands, everything. I love these figures. Uh, I, it's, I, Go and look them up yourselves. It, the fact is that they have like different scales of them. This one would be what? 1 to 355. That one's like 1 to 60. Um, the ones I used to have were like 1 to 144. So they were actually like only about yay size. But really nicely detailed. And of course people do amazing, amazing custom jobs on top of them. Where they actually like paint them in themselves. It's ridiculous. So what else we got in here? Alright. So this is from Git. The anime. It's power cord with a carboner clip or a, a carboner style clip. I use these constantly. This is very cool. Yeah, multi tool bottle opener hex tool. Man, yeah. I love it. I, I I love having these kind of tools. More stuff like this, please. Um, I think the last one might have been like a. I'm trying to remember, was it a Batman Batarang that actually had like a screwdriver and stuff on the side of it as well? Cool enough design, grand, but um, th this is going to be something that I will just attach to my normal keychain that I have, and it won't even interfere in my day in any way, shape, or form. Power cord is cool, uh, really, really useful for a dozen things you could use it on. Um, steel carboner. I hope this is actually a oh, hi. yeah, yeah. It's a nice, a nice steel one. I wouldn't 
depend on it for like heavy weight, but I would use it. I would still, I would use it as a definitely as a bottle opener. Um, yeah, it says here not for climbing, so it's definitely not got weighted for that. But it's a, it's good enough for um, holding stuff closed, I suppose. I'm cool with that. I'm so happy with that. Check it out again. It's really, really nice. So let's see what else we got in the box. Oh yeah. So we've got our usual little charm. Uh, I thought it was a pair of dog tags, but it actually is just one dog tag made to look like a pair. So yeah. Combat war war torn. What does it actually say on it? Agent 9 Loot Anime July 2016. Agent 9? Is this the ninth? Uh, it's the ninth loot, loot anime crate? Really? It's been that many so far? Huh. There you go. Loot Anime Agent 9. Always nice. Always nice to have another real charm. Um, I, I've, I don't change the ones that I have on my stuff really that often, so I don't really think about it. But um, yeah, it's a nice, nice look, nice design. All right, so what have we got here? Uh, of course, as usual, we have our po poster inside of uh, a booklet for Loot Anime. I love the designs on these posters. Uh, they're in in-house artists or do a great job. So yeah, Combat War Torn. What is this? Oh yeah, Squadron. That's what it was. So it makes sense for our Peggio and Gundam and Sentry Squadrons of its own sort. So yeah, let's see. I think that this flattened out without the light kind of ruining the view of the poster. But yeah, it reminds me a lot of Area 88 or... Yeah, Area 88 or a little bit of um, Full Metal Panic, in a way. Um, like, she does look a bit Testarossa to me. But, um, actually, in fact, she looks a little bit more Testarossa, but that looks pretty cool. I like it. So, Squadron. What have we got in the back here? Um, oh, right, so there's actually random. The, the Gundam figures could have been completely random. So, there is Squadron Phone Charm, which was an exclusive. The T-shirt is Git as well. All right. So, I recognize, I don't recognize the look. Oh, oh, all right. Well, makes sense. Um, I just, I, I don't know why, but in my head it made me keep on thinking like very British. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get me looking like an English flag. But no, nah, that's not what it was, it's Git. Right, so the Git t-shirt from uh, Credit Coop. Git multi-tool carboner, looks good. Assault Kingdom Gundam figure. And the one they show in it is actually a Gundam. So there was ones available. There's actually like a, any one of that set. So it was a blind bag. That being kind of cool, um, I would be nice to get a different one, um, but actually, like, I do like some of the smaller, or well, not smaller, but you know, like the the non Gundam figures because they're the ones that actually uh, you see more of them, and because they get destroyed constantly, so they're actually a good opponent weapons or good like looking ones because you see them that often. A couple of the designs of these look crazy, so I don't know uh, if I'm actually like delighted about it, but there probably was. A few other interesting ones in the stack. I'll need to actually check out Assault Kingdom Gundam specifically just so I know more about it. So, um, yeah, there was also Arpeggio of Blue Steel Manga Volume 1 and an Anti Magic Academy scarf from BioWorld. That was. That was actually. It's, it's, as, as a crate goes, solid. Um, I mean, there was a wearable, a wearable that I will never wear. Um, in fact, do you know what? Because people have been asking, I will be putting this. Up as a giveaway so make sure to actually comment um so if you comment underneath the video the video saying scarf me scarf me is the code word for the giveaway uh hashtag scarf me uh you can use that on the instagram or on facebook or on any of the uh the typical pastiche of skin channels you can get me on mz if you put it on any of those i will leave it open for a week and i will get back to you guys after i'm back from the shoot that i'm on next week and i will pick a winner i will probably announce the winner faster on Instagram than I will on everything else because I'll have to have an excuse for a video which will probably be a vlog to announce the winner otherwise. Um, I like the design of this month's crate because it actually has a, what I can see is a punch out handle built into it which is a nice touch. Um, it makes it actually a crate that I could give to my nephew because he likes to have like carryables and stuff that locks things away in. This is actually be like right up his street. So yeah, as always we build the crate so I can show it off to you guys. Na -na 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 -na. Easy enough done. Locked in. And around. Oh. So I like the actual design of the crate. It's a bit militaristic. Um, it's essentially in halo green. <laughs> if um, if I use color correcting on this at all because I've actually realized my face is completely blown out. Um, it may actually take the color out of the crate. So it is a kind of militaristic uh, ammo. Well, a militaristic green, I suppose. 
It's got a nice little design on the front of it. It does have a handle here in the top where you can actually punch it through and grip it from, but I'm not going to do that just yet because not really worth it. Kind of looks like a bit of a Gundam box, really. So there you go. That is the crate. Uh, of course, this has been Loot Anime and Crunchyroll for box number nine, ninth one in the series. We have been here since the very beginning. We will be here at the end. So guys, what do you think? Um, Gate, what do you think of the show Gate? I've never watched it, uh, so I'm going to watch it now. Now that I've actually got things related to it, I don't want to wear a t-shirt of anything. I don't know what the hell it is, because this is too good of a t-shirt not to actually wear. Uh, although admittedly, I don't think many people would recognize it unless they're actually huge fans. Or Pedro of Blue Steel, big fan of the series whenever I first started it. Um, haven't read the manga at all before, so I'm looking forward to reading it. What do you think of the manga? Um, and Gundams. What do you think of Gundams? You can say it in Saturday whenever the video comes out from Made in Japan, or you can say it here. What do you think of Gundams? Gundams are goddamn awesome to me. I think they're all, I mean, they're amazing robots, especially with the tech manuals where they have them so unbelievably detailed, and it's absolutely bullshit science that's built around them, but they just look so cool. I would get a tattoo of my forearm to make it look like a Gundam kind of interior, you know, like bust it up and then the wiring to match up with a Gundam's arm. I, I had this idea years ago, but I've just never gotten around to it. So yeah, guys, um, that's been Loot Anime for the ninth month of it. It has been Squadron. I will see you guys all in the next video, so remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the like button's somewhere around there at the bottom. If you don't like it, there's a dislike button right next to it. But make sure to comment, make sure to like, um, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys for more unboxings in the future. So until the next episode, bye bye